I am Adil Kumar sharing this question from my subscriber. So let me first thank my subscribers for participating actively and posting excellent questions. And I hope solution of this question helps many of you. The question here is, a school building wants to have a rectangular soccer field with an area of 6000 square yards. The soccer field must be 40 yards longer than its width. Determine algebraically the dimensions of the soccer field in yards. So the first step should always be to sketch, make a rough sketch of the situation. What we need is a rectangular field. So here is a very simple rectangle. And let us say the dimensions are length L and W is the width, right? And now let us see what we are given here. We are given area of 6,000 square yards. So let's write area equals to 6,000 square yards. We are also given that the soccer field must be 40 yards longer than its width. That means length should be width plus 40. Okay. So these two conditions are given to us. We need to find length and width, that is the dimensions in yards. Now what is area equals to? So as you know, area is product of length and width. And we know here that length is W plus 40. So let me replace length with W plus 40. And we already have this product width. So if I multiply, I can expand and get a quadratic equation here. So, so we have area, which is 6,000. So let me replace A with 6,000, which is equal to, let me multiply these. So we get W square plus 40W. So we have a quadratic equation, right? Area means product, which gives to uh, not a linear equation, but a quadratic equation. Okay, so we can bring 6,000 to the right side. So we get 0 equals to W square plus 40W minus 6,000. Now this quadratic equation can be solved in a couple of ways. One is by factoring. The other one is quadratic formula. In general, if you have equation as AX square plus BX plus C equals to 0, then x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now in our case, b is 40 and c is minus 6000, a is 1. So you could always use this formula, find the value of x, which is w in our case, right? So you could solve for w, which is minus 40 plus minus square root of 40 squared minus 4 times minus 6000 divided by 2, right? So one of the answers will be negative. Don't include that. Take the positive answer. This becomes minus minus as plus. So that is one way of doing it. The other way is factoring, right? So let me do factoring way. So we look for two numbers. Let's say P and Q whose product is 6,000, negative 6,000, okay? And some of these two numbers should be 40, correct? It is not difficult to find these two numbers, you know, 60, 100, things like that. So 60 and 100, do you see that? 60 and 100. So the two numbers could be 100, we'll take positive, right? So we'll say 100 and 60, what do you see? 60 as negative. So when you multiply, you get minus 6,000, correct? So sometimes it may look difficult, but in this particular case, that is a much simpler solution than getting into this, right? So what we get here is, I'll solve by factoring. You could do this also, right? So these are the two numbers which can factor the quadratic equation where the leading coefficient is 1. So we could write this as w plus 100 times 
W minus 60. That is width. And we know this is not valid. So that gives us two solutions. One is minus 100, W equals to 60. Now, as you know, minus 100 is not valid. So this is not valid. So we'll take this one. Is it okay? So width of 60 yards we have got. If width is 60, then what is the length? Length is width plus 40. So we've got width as equals to 60 yards. And length should be width plus 60, 40, right? So it is 60 plus 40, and that is 100 yards. So we get our answer, and that is the dimensions are are 100 yards when we write pi 60 yards is it okay 100 yards by 60 yards that means length and width dimensions are 160 respectively so that is how you could actually solve such questions i hope that helps feel free to post questions subscribe to my videos and make suggestions thank you and all the best.